U.S. health officials want you to shake the salt. People in the United States consume 50% more sodium than what most experts recommend. And the FDA wants to reduce that with new guidelines with sodium reduction target levels for foods in more than 100 different categories. Joining us right now to break it all down are the nutrition twins, Tammy Lakatos, Shames, and Lisi Lakatos. Good to Hi. see you, ladies. Hi, thanks Thank for Thank you so much us. for joining us. Most people do not realize how much salt is in the stuff that we buy every day. Is that right? Absolutely. That's entirely right. And the thing is, as registered dietitians, we love this new regulation because we're in the business of getting people healthy and helping them to live longer. And this is going to help them to do that. So with 600,000 people dying every year from heart disease, we all need to lower our sodium. So with the items that we don't realize we're getting sodium in, by decreasing that, it's going to help. So let's talk about that for a second because yeah. you're saying salt is a, is a direct link to heart disease. Yes. yes. It and raises it, your blood pressure yeah. and reduces your risk of stroke when you cut back on sodium, but it also raises your risk of heart disease when you eat too much. And in fact, research shows that half the population is salt sensitive. Now what this means is that half of us can eat salt and be just fine, and half of us will eat salt and it will instantly put us at risk for all of these diseases. So if we can just cut back the amount of salt we're giving people, People, it's amazing because we'll instantly reduce and lower the risk of death and we'll help people to live longer, wow. healthier lives. Well, you know yeah. what I can't stand is when I have like soy sauce or anything really salty, my face blows up. I right, mean, so you're really, probably salt sensitive, you, you would know. It, yeah. It really yeah. does. It immediately yeah. ex, um, yes. Im impacts me. Yes. Yeah. We're the same way. Yeah. Under the eyes, the puffy fingers. Mm -hmm. Puffiness, yeah. right? Puffiness. Okay, so yeah. what do you have here to indicate where the, the big salt, uh, the, the salt uh, problems are? Well, that's a great question. And the truth is that most people don't know how much salt they're getting. Yeah. And you can't really tell by tasting a food. Well, I didn't need you to bring me McDonald's <laughs> french fries to know that there are that's a lot the of given. salt. That's the given. That is the given. But the tricky <laughs> thing is that's not the given. If, if you have a slice of bread, you're actually getting more sodium than you would in a serving of potato chips. What? Well, yes. what what happens is with potato chips is they salt just the surface and it's actually a smart marketing technique or just a, for any manufacturer. So the, ta the salt touches your taste buds immediately. So you taste it. Whenever the salt's on the surface, that's the way to go. When it's baked huh. into a product, you don't really taste and it you anymore. It you really liked whole wheat bread. I know. You like knew. salt in whole yeah. wheat bread. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Maybe. Or, although what's going on with the whole wheat bread is now manufacturers are catching on to this and they're like, we don't need to use as much salt and consumers are not complaining. So they're making Pay, they're paving the way for other manufacturers to do the same thing, like become a little more creative. You don't have to keep baking the salt in, you can add a little bit at the end. Now you're saying that a whole piece of holy bread is more than these potato chips? Yes. yes. Cut, yes. It's true. Wait, wow. I gotta tell you something, the coolest thing, okay. our taste buds are like all other cells on our body, they're t they'll turn over in 21 days. So if you cut back on your sodium for, t for at most three weeks, you won't even like the salt anymore. In fact, you'll go to eat huh. a salty food and you're going to say, that tastes so salty. I don't like, like that anymore. Some lose weight. Exactly. And you know, because it's also putting weight on it. Yes. it makes, salt makes you hunger, it makes you thirstier, and yeah. it increases your craving. It's uh, like so a triple my, dad, my dad would go nuts if I used this bottle to <laughs> Good salt. for him. I already love away. your dad. Uh, Me I too. Love your dad. <laughs> Yeah, yes. the bottled, the bottled uh, tomato sauce, people don't realize it's really high in sodium. Look so we this. love oh, your yeah, dad. Go natural, make your own. 480 milligrams And sodium. that's in yeah. just a half cup. And the trick, if you are making your own tomato sauce, add that salt at the end of the cooking because if you keep adding it through, it gets mixed right in and then yeah, you, you don't, don't taste really taste it. It's like it. the same so, thing that happens with the bread. Yeah. So, point. Yeah, so yes. just at the end. All right, so yeah. what did you bring here at the end? The Goya beans. Something with beans. The easiest thing to do if it's not a low you can buy low sodium, which makes it great, but just rinse the beans and you're rinsing off 40% of the sodium. Wow. And so then it's like you're getting like That's a, such good advice. It's yeah. Such a, it's such an easy thing to so do. just put them, put them there in the strainer and just rinse it just off. Just rinse yeah. it off. Yeah. You probably can do that with a lot of foods. A lot of foods you really can. Can't tune a lot of things yeah. and just add your own seasonings. And yeah, uh -huh. don't tell me cucumbers are bad for me. Oh, no. no. We would Wait, never do that. Back to natural. If you go any way natural, you're automatically cutting down on the sodium. Yeah. Okay. Natural so any is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. But I natural. have problems with that uh, ranch dressing at the end of the you day. You should, That's, Maria. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, because, yeah. because again, this is packaged food. My sister yeah. always tells me, go shopping in the supermarket on the edges of the store. She's the smart. She's smart. Don't That's go in the middle aisles where there's all this packaged yeah. food. It's the processed food. 75% of our sodium comes from those packaged food. Or from... Yeah. Going out to eat. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to just nice take ladies. away the <laughs> hammers. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having Great us. Thank you so much. You. 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 you helped our audience. You helped us. Tammy Lakatos, Shames, and Lisi Lakatos.